Hi everybody, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, August 1st. We're coming on this afternoon to uh, give you an update on an area of disturbed weather associated with a tropical wave that we're watching that's near uh, Hispaniola and moving through the Turks and Caicos and southeastern Bahamas. You can see it here on the satellite imagery. You see some disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity as the wave continues to move off to the west-northwest. We're not expecting a lot of development with this system over the next day or so, but once it reach, uh, moves past Cuba and through the Bahamas and then moves up near or over Florida and into the eastern Gulf of Mexico, we expect con uh, conditions to become a little more favorable, and we are expecting this system to go on and develop into a tropical depression or perhaps a tropical storm uh, later this weekend or even early next week uh, as it moves near Cuba, near or, or over portions of the Florida Peninsula or in across the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Um, so at this stage in the uh, development of a system that doesn't really have a lot of character yet, there's not a lot of certainty in terms of the location and magnitude of the impact. But what we're most confident in uh, for now is the potential for heavy rainfall across much of the Florida Peninsula, the Florida Keys. Don't want you to pay too much attention to the exact numbers in the rainfall totals here, which we're showing through Tuesday morning, but just that there is the potential for widespread heavy rainfall affecting much of Florida, the eventual location and amounts of the heaviest rainfall, which could certainly exceed five inches in some locations, will be determined by the exact track uh, that this system takes and how it evolves over the next few days, going, again, going into the weekend and into early next week. So again, just keep an eye on this system. Everybody in Florida want to pay attention to this. Check in for regular updates as we go through the next couple of days because, again, we are expecting a tropical depression to form uh, likely in the eastern Gulf of Mexico this, this weekend and into early next week. And as a reminder, folks who live on the west coast of Florida, the Gulf Coast, know that it doesn't take a hurricane to produce significant impacts from things like storm surge or wind impacts as well. So we we'll want to keep an eye out for those. Uh, the details on those are still undefined at this point. So again, just a reminder to stay tuned. For everybody else, we're now heading into August. We've been talking for the last couple of months about how most of the hurricane activity in the Atlantic Basin happens in these sort of peak months of August, September, October. And this is the, uh, the, you know, the, the uh, frequency of storms as we go through the hurricane season. We're going to be on this fast train going up the hill here during the month of August with the peak of hurricane activity uh, occurring in early September, continuing on through September and October. And a reminder, we are expecting a above normal activity this hurricane season. So for folks in Florida and everybody in hurricane prone areas, just a couple of reminders reminders as we head into the peak of the season. Know your risk, know what your threats are, where you live and where those that you care about live are from storm surge, uh, rainfall flooding, strong winds, tornadoes, rip currents, Determine if you live in a flood prone area, both at the coast and inland, and have that evacuation plan in place if you live, especially in a storm surge evacuation zone. Know where you're going to go, how you're going to get there if you're asked to leave by your local officials, and identify your home structural risks. Uh, mobile homes and basements can be especially vulnerable to flooding from heavy rainfall and uh, storm surge as well as wind. Um, and again, just a couple of reminders. It's not too late to get your hurricane supply kit ready. Uh, this is a great time to uh, top that off or get that ready for the peak of the season. If you haven't done so already, think about multiple days worth of food and water, medicine and prescriptions, keep the gas tank full in your car, maybe have some extra gas on hand. Uh, make sure you have cash on hand and make sure you have uh, batteries, radio, phone chargers, everything you might need to be ready to survive the aftermath of an event. So again, just a reminder, stay, uh, keep checking back here at the National Hurricane Center. You can come to our website at hurricanes.gov. You can find your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. So stay tuned for more information on this system that we are expecting to become a tropical depression uh, later this weekend or early next week across the eastern Gulf of Mexico. We'll be back with more updates later in the week and through the weekend. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.